Hey guys, it's Coach Allen, and I want to share with you three of my favorite upper body exercises for basketball players. Now, uh, for two of them, we're going to actually use some dumbbells. And the reason I'm using dumbbells is they're so versatile. Uh, they can be used isolaterally, which means I'm going to be working each arm independently. And I'm going to pick two exercises that are combination exercises so we get a little bit more bang for our buck. We're going to be working more than one muscle group at one time. Uh, again, I love these for the versatility. Uh, the first one we're going to do, uh, I'm going to use these hexagon dumbbells and I'm going to get down in a push-up position. I'm going to be a little bit wider than hip width apart with my feet. So I'm going to do a full push-up and then I'm going to pull one uh, dumbbell towards my armpit. So we're going to get a row. So I'm working the front side of my body right into the back side. So I'm working my pushing muscles, my chest and shoulders, and then I'm working my back and my biceps. Notice that I'm keeping great posture throughout the entire exercise. I'm not letting my hips drop. I'm not letting my hips elevate. Now, of course, with an exercise like this, it's most important that you can do a regular push-up correctly first because this is an advanced technique. And it's so important that we uh, respect the process and we respect every single step uh, going up the chain. So before you try something like this, make sure you can do a regular push-up. Can't also stress enough how important it is uh, to make sure you've got great body alignment. You're aligned from your ankles, knees, hips, and shoulders and chest. Uh, need to make sure that you're keeping that great posture, not letting your hips sink. But it's great for working your core and every muscle of your upper body. Next one we'll do, also using the dumbbells, we'll do from a ground-based position. So I'm gonna be in a standing position. We're going to do a bicep curl, straight press, all the way back down. So it's very distinct movements. So we're gonna go bicep curl to our shoulder press. Notice I've got some bend in my knees. So I'm in a good athletic stance, keeping posture. We're working our shoulders, working our biceps, working our grip and forearms, and even a little bit of our core to a degree. I love these exercises because when we combine two exercises at once, we're just getting more bang for our buck, which means we can be so much more time efficient that you could knock out three or four of these exercises and it's like doing six to eight regular conventional exercises. Everyone always talks about sets and reps. For something like these, uh, four to six to eight on each arm for our push-up row for a couple of sets. Same thing with our curl to press, four to six, uh, sometimes all the way up to seven to eight, just depends on your strength level and depends on how heavy the dumbbells are. The last exercise we're gonna do, we're gonna do a, an advanced version of a pull-up. So I'm gonna get in a pull position, but I'm gonna raise my feet up and we're gonna do what's called an L pull-up. An L pull-up is gonna involve a tremendous amount of core and hip flexors. So again, since we're looking for exercises that give us more bang for our buck, I'm gonna be working my back, my grip, my forearms, but I'm also going to, because of my position of my body, gonna be working my hip flexors and gonna be working my abs. So we'll go from here, we're gonna raise up, and we're going to a full pull-up. So legs stay up, I'm trying to keep them parallel to the ground. Tremendous stress on the core, as well as obviously the back and the forearms. And those three different combo exercises are three of my favorite for basketball because I just worked every bit of muscle that I have from the waist up, which makes it an outstanding upper body routine.